The act of painting reveals to me so much. It enables my mind to, um, to grow uh, in so many directions. I find my mind uh, opening up to an understanding of things uh, by actually painting, by the process of painting. So I think that it goes back and forth. The things that I become engaged with intellectually inevitably find their way into not only, not, not, not the images so much as that I paint, but the manner of execution of the pictures. For the time being, painting is the most um, uh, challenging thing to me, especially because of its stasis, you know? Um, so many other mediums uh, move. Film moves, yeah. theater moves, uh, still photography doesn't, but um, in sculpture even you're moving around it, so there's motion there. The picture never moves. I mean, there could be motion in the picture, but that's really as, uh, I mean, that's, a, that's sort of a part of the technical narrativity of it, and also part of the iconography of it. The movement within a painting is, is iconography as well as whatever the, uh, uh, the images are, semiologically. Uh, but the fact that the picture does not move and that it's so dependent upon this, this coup d'oeil, this uh, moment of seeing it for the first time, and then the sustained viewing of it during which the technical narrativity purses out information at varying rates of speed so that you are experiencing it over time, but the object itself does not move. Uh, to me, that is the most beautiful thing about painting. I mean, for me, if I want to look at a painting, I want to just be, be like gripped by the sensuality of it. And finally, I come to this show and I see that, you know, someone is, someone is working with the paint, they're working with the textures, they're working with the life in the canvas, and they're creating this real empathic reaction that's about humanity, that isn't just about like aliens on another planet 
or you know right angles it's really about like what are you as a human being how do you feel how you how do you experience life